Hi again. Um, I did the uh, proofs for the theorems in 1.4, but I wanted to do a few problems in section 1.4. Um, I think probably the most important rule we've done uh, up to now is the addition rule for two events, and that's going to come and play a lot. Um, so I just thought I would do a few. Here is uh, example one. This is page, uh, page 11 up here. Cancel that. Um, I want a pen. Okay, so what's the probability a number selected at random from the set 1 through 100 is not divisible by 7? So on another sheet, we did the probability it is divisible by 7. So probability uh, divisible by 7 not. I'm using that as complement. That's 1 minus probability a number is divisible by 7. And we said there were 14 numbers in here that are divisible by 7. So this is 1 minus 14 over 100, which should be um, 86 over 100. And I'm fine with this. You don't need to reduce it. Even in homework, I'm fine with that. Um, it definitely is better than converting to fractions also. Let's go down to, yeah, here's another. This is a nice two by two. I like to make a two by two diagram for it, not a um, and not a Venn diagram. I just, the Venn diagram's lots of places to mess up and where to put, you know, parts of it in circles. So I kind of like to make a two by two, and this is what I mean by that. Um, let me see, a lot of group claims there is too much crude language and violence on TV. That's true, unless you watch Glee, it has neither. Um, let me see, 42% of programs screened are crude language, so probability um, crude language is 0.42, um, and 27% were violent, so probability violent, um, 27%, and probability both, so crude language and, that's intersection, so both is 0.10. And then my table, um, this is probability of crude language and its complement, probability of crude language complement, um, probability of violent, probability of violent complement. And let's see, I know the numbers out here have to add up to one, and the numbers up here have to add up to one because they're complements. So violent is 0.27, so not violent is 0.73, Crude language is 0.42, so not crude language is 0.58. And luckily I have a piece in the middle. This is the intersection of, um, this is intersection of violence and crude language, crude language not violent, not crude language violent, not violent, not crude language. So all these are just the intersections of the events. So probability crude language and violence is 10%. And knowing that, the rest of these, right, are easy to fill in now. So I know this has to be 0.17 to add up to 0.27. This has to be 0. what 0.41. And this has to be 0.31. Um, and that should add up. So something's wrong, right? Oh, 3.2. 3.2, right? Because that would be 4.2 and that would be... 7, 3. Okay, so what's the question? Um, what percentage of programs would comply with, with, their, standard, with their standards? So, um, okay, so they don't have, I guess, comply with their standards is probability uh, don't have crude language and don't have violence, which is 0.41 down here in this corner right here. Or that's the same thing as probability, crude language, or violent, not, which um, if you look at it, let me see. So that would be, um, again, the same, well, it's the same thing. These, by De Morgan's law that we proved a little bit earlier, this is the same thing as this. And again, that's 0 0.41. So, um, okay, let me see if I want to do any others. Example three is, is somewhat similar then to example two that we just did. Um, let's see. Well, there's the addition theorem that I fixed after. Um, I, I'll probably say your name wrong, Joran. 
Well, he fixed it and it, I uploaded it new and here's a bunch of suggested problems. Um, again, this is the, the two by two. Oh, I, let me just scroll down here. Um, this is the two by two problem again right there. And uh, oh, maybe we'll, I don't want to go too long, but here's a card problem. Let me see. In poker, a five card hand is called a straight if it's straight set of numbers four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it's called a flush if all of are the same suits. So if A denotes a set of straights and B denotes the state the the set of flushes, then A intersect B is straight flushes. So A intersect B is straight flushes. And um, what's the question? Um, how many outcomes are straight flushes? Let me see. Aces count as high or low. Okay, so if you think about it, we could have um, ace, two, three, four, five. Right there's um, a straight. And we could start two, three, four, five, six. And this is going to be, and then all the way like three, four, five, six, seven. And keep going. Our last one, if I go backwards, right? Ace, king, queen, jack. 10. So I have ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 um, straights, but to be a flush, these all have to be all hearts. Um, hearts aren't looking too good. Or they could be all, um, I always get my suits messed up diamonds so there's four different suits so I'm going to multiply this by four so there's 40 straight flushes that are possible and I hope I didn't mess you up but I was saying there here, starting it with an a starting with a two starting with a three there's another one starting with a four another starting with a five another starting with a six seven eight nine ten is my last one that's how I got the ten um, I have 10 different starting points that would give me a straight and then I have the four suits and there's 40 possible Okay, I'll talk to you later.